Calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor or CEOT is a benign tumor of odontogenic origin. Histologically, it shows squamous epithelial cells and has calcified material. In the classification of odontogenic tumors, CEOT is classified in the epithelial group as only the epithelial component shows neoplasm and not the connective tissue. Previously, CEOT was thought to be a variant of ameloblastoma with calcifications. It was Dr. Jens J. Pinberg who named it calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor. Thus, CEOT is also known as Pinberg tumor. Due to the presence of squamous cells in the tumor histology, CEOT is thought to originate from cells of stratum intermedium in the enamel organ. This is because these are the only cells in the tooth germ which are squamous. CEOT may also develop from remnants of dental lamina or Hertwig's epithelial root sheath. Clinically, CEOTs occur more commonly in middle-aged adults with mean age of 40 years. There is no predilection for any gender. It is seen more in mandible than in maxilla and in mandible it is more common in the molar area. Patients complain of a painless swelling which is slow growing. Though, many patients complain only of a missing tooth and no swelling. As in almost half the cases of COT, an unerupted tooth is seen associated with the tumour. Moreover, adjacent teeth may show tipping, rotation, migration or mobility. The overlying mucosa shows no changes in colour. On palpation, the swelling is not tender and is bony hard in consistency. Large lesions may show eggshell cracking. Rarely, peripheral COTs are seen extraosseously in gingiva with similar clinical and histological presentations, except for their location. Peripheral COTs are more common in anterior gingiva than posterior. On radiograph, CEOT may appear as a well-circumscribed unilocular radiolucency or multilocular radiolucency. Varying amount of flex of radio opacity is seen within this radiolucency due to the calcifications in the tumour. This gives the lesion the characteristic driven snow appearance. About half the CEOTs are associated with an impacted tooth making it appear like a dentigerous cyst. The differentiating radio opacities are generally seen closer to the crown of the impacted tooth. The histology of CEOT shows a solid tumour composed of polyhedral epithelial cells. These cells are arranged in sheets, small islands or cords. At higher magnification, these cells show distinct cellular borders with prominent intracellular bridges. The cells have a granular and eosinophilic cytoplasm. The nuclei are hyperchromatic and pleomorphic. Few cells may show multiple nuclei. Many tumor cells show mitotic activity. Despite of these dysplastic features, CEOT is a benign tumor. The tumor also has the presence of homogeneous eosinophilic amyloid-like material interspersed between the tumor cells. Even though being intensively investigated, the true nature of its origin is still not known. They are thought to be amyloid, glycoprotein, basal lamina, keratin or enamel matrix. The characteristic calcifications of COT are seen as irregular round bodies. They show concentric bands due to the periodic precipitation often called as Lee's gang rings. A clear cell variant of COT is known which has epithelial cells with clear cytoplasm instead of being eosinophilic. Combined lesions of adenomatoid odontogenic tumor and calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor have been reported where histologically both tumors are seen together. The treatment of CEOT is governed by the size of the lesion. Small lesions may be treated by enucleation. Larger lesions are treated by n-block resection or segmental resection.